Hi everyone. So here we are with our next episode of the podcast with a very young entrepreneur, uh, Shalaka from Maze Comics. Hi, welcome, Shalaka. How are you? Hi, I'm all good. Thank you for having me here today. How are you doing? I am doing good, and we are we are very happy to have you with us. So, Shalaka, as our name of the podcast, uh, you know, indicates that uh, we want to let uh, you know dig in, dive into a more about your entrepreneurship journey, how it started. So, let's get started and start the episode. Uh, so, my first question to you is: What does Maze means? What is Maze Comics? Uh, significance, the name, the logo, everything. I think after like two and a half years, I'm revealing this because I haven't told anyone yet what the actual meaning. People just interpret it in their way, which is something that I also enjoy. Ki, you know, like ki maze, as in like maze, karre hai, ya fir, you know, like something like that. So basically, like I'm a Maharashtrian, Marathi movie, and maze in Marathi means uh, mind. And it is it's really very simple. Like Mazze Comics is basically my comics, but I I kept it very simple yet with a little unique twist to it, so that you know, कि जब तक आप पूछोगे नहीं आपको पता नहीं चलेगा until and unless you are a Maharashtrian. तो वो थोड़ा सा unique edge देना था मुझे उसपे while continuing my Marathi thing into it. So yeah, like brainstorming का तो first option यही था मेरे दिमाग में, and I chose this only like till the end. I just बाकी वॉट य Uh, it was the year 2020. I just okay. opened it as an art account. The way I had no intention of getting a monetary gain out of it or anything. So I just wanted to like put my art out there and make like a digital portfolio sort of thing for the next four years of my college. I said three years of my college. I was in second year. The way and in lockdown, so everyone was like, everyone was actually it was a trend. I don't know. Like everyone is doing these digital arts and they started posting it. Correct. Hello. I'll also do it. Anyway, I was just illustrating and keeping it. So I started posting there. So those small, small illustrations actually got a lot of uh, attraction. Like I went from zero to five hundred just with those posts. Like I was, I was doing this um, letters, thirty, thirty-six days of uh, letters and everything. So like A to Z, you have to continue each day one one letter. You have to post, and you know challenges like that. I used to do with illustration. <laughs> Yeah, and most of my audience was obviously my college friends only, like college kids, my classmates, everyone. So I used to like make sure that college me, jab you know online classes me, jab break hai, tabhi I used to I used to post so that the people will be on their Instagram more or like mostly. ऐसे करके से सोच सोच के दर ना used to you know do all of that. And then I guess after like uh, August twenty twenty this happened, I opened the page, and in February like. Almost six months after that, uh, like people, my friends told me they asked me like, why don't you just make stickers out of this and like start selling this because you know we we want these designs on our gadgets and stuff like that. So that gave me like my audience only gave me an idea. Like, okay, I can do that as well. And then small business ka itna ho raha tha. It was just blowing up and like it was a little overwhelming obviously because stickers ke itne saare already the. But then I was like, I don't need those extra machinery job here. Hey, my repass or whatever. So I was like, I'll just make those squares because anyway, my Instagram post used to be so squarish. So I would like cut, 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 like this, hands. So you know, that's how it started. So when I started, so it was like, you know, 
ठीक है चलो चाले चालू करेंगे ऐसे वाले बट क्या करेक्ट करेक्ट सो बिकॉज यू स्टार्टेड इट अ वेरी यंग एज एंड दैट टू वेन यू वेर इन अ कॉलेज एंड यू आर स्टार्टिंग यूर ओन बिजनेस हाउ सीरियसली वे यू टेकन बाय अदर्स बिकॉज जनरली क्या होता है लोग यू नो दे कीप सी के अरे बच्चे हैं इट्स ओके एंड देन वेन यू इवन टॉक टू वेंडर्स और लेट से यू टॉक टू एनी बडी जनरली देर आर टू फैक्टर्स वाई वी आर नॉट टेकन सीरियसली वन बींग वेरी यंग एंड सेकेंड बींग अ वुमेन so yes. these are few things which i have observed um during my duration and my startup journey so how was that a uh, feeling for you so uh, in the beginning when i decided ki i had to do this pehle to i couldn't just go and tell my parents ki mere ko aise karna hai because my dad is like very oriented he needs an detailed analysis and research ki like have you really thought about it so wo budget bana ke main gayi thi ki ye tools lagne wale hai and everything and i think that uh, sort of showed the seriousness i had towards it kyunki main aise hi jaake bolti to shayad itna seriously lete nahi but i showed interest in it i invested some time to cut you know this a pura competitors ka list and all i had ready ki inhone dekh ke se kiya mai kya kaise karne ka hai is a pura jaake mai baba ko explain kiya and he actually is a thoda business minded person and he teaches entrepreneurship in to his mba students so he was like he obviously wasn't going to take me lightly so he didn't and then he supported me he's like theek hai pehla investment meri taraf se ye le lo 1200 rupaye and then i ordered everything and then that's how it started and uh, so far it's been great like uh, vendors se to lockdown mein i never had a chance to actually speak with them because that the amazon and ye, like online only i was uh, ordering stuff as a raw materials but uh, since i took an office and you know like vendors se ja ke baat karne ka hi hai to now me and my partner supports uh, our running business so i've faced this a lot when i'm talking to vendors It's like even if i ask the question they'll answer to me till or they just like look through me <laughs> and talk to him and i'm like they just assume that i wouldn't know anything about it and they'll use all these technical terms which actually i know more because i've been in this business Correct. while now and they'll be like hey, no but you know it's like that and it's like that. It's like, i know but talk to me at least then you'll get to know ki you know mere ko kitna pata hai nahi pata nahi pata so i don't i'm not embarrassed to ask you that's there like i'm always open to learn but then when you assume that i don't know anything and you're talking to me then it's very frustrating correct correct it is it is and it is very sad also that people still are in that mentality exactly like i'm doing in like renovating my office and the electrician won't talk to me how am i supposed <laughs> to convey the ideas and what i want how i want the lighting to be there because i have to show the reels and everything so i know what i want but they, they won't even look at me at times so it's just so frustrating <laughs> Yeah. Correct, correct. It is, it is. So I also know for a fact because I know both of you for a like a while now, and I know what difficulties you have faced in the past few months. I just want to take this opportunity to talk about it a little bit, so that maybe we reach out to the right people addressing the problem, or maybe we can uh, create an awareness so others don't face a problem. So please uh, explain to our audience what exactly you had faced by losing your Instagram account completely overnight and. I know how devastated you guys were left, and it is it is going to stay as a lesson and as an impression. But please explain it a bit so everybody is aware about it. Yeah. So what happened is we had a couple of uh, ads running on Instagram, and uh, suddenly out of nowhere, one fine day, we came to the office. We started uh, like packing our orders and stuff, and we got a mail saying that our ad account has been disabled. so we were a little like the, the mail explained that uh, all the ads that were running are now being paused and we are reviewing it and once we are done with the review it will come back the ad account will come back so until that we won't be able to boost or post or run any ad which we were okay with but until we finished reading that very mail we got another mail saying that your instagram account has been disabled and that came as so, a Quite a shock for us because we weren't expecting that. Like you know, like nothing. There was nothing wrong with the account. Everything was going so well. The engagement was at its best. 
people were at its best and that account has been there since 2020 so there's a lot of content over there like i i even if now i i have a new account i can't possibly put all that here it, it took me it. so long to get there so after we got that mail then i just went on my phone like I, I opened instagram and then i got logged out of that account i couldn't access anything and they just said that we're reviewing your account and i'll get they'll get back to me in a day or so it's been 45 days now but no one has gotten back to me or nothing we've tried reaching out to the grievance officer and filled out so many forms Talk to so many people, but the answer that we're getting is that there's an AI thing behind it, not a person. Right. So there's no one to reach out to right now. So the only thing we can do is wait. But uh, yeah, so we did wait for like two weeks and we were just trying and trying and like, you know, what will happen? Because our business was like 50 50 offline and online. And suddenly my part just got vanished all of a sudden. And I had. Like, I didn't know what to do because that was that is what I was doing for the past two and a half years. And then I was so lost and I felt like I had to move back home now because the rent has and the office space I've taken and everything and how are we going to make ends meet. And obviously, if I don't have ends meet, call me back, which they did. They, like, they left the decision to me. But still, all the thoughts and I was feeling guilty then, like, you know, should I stay in Bangalore? Should, will I be able to afford to stay in Bangalore? There were so many things that went on in those two weeks. But then we decided to like, you know, like move on. Like everyone around me is telling that I'm still not under says I moved on from that account. Every day I think about it, I know. Like every time I think about posting something, I don't like I, I'll be very excited, but then I'll be like, ah, but it's the new account. So Correct. Correct. Yeah, it, so, it, it is a it is a traumatizing situation exactly, somehow. Exactly. But then everyone around me is like, like, get over it, shut up, uh, it's fine, it's just an account. Just think that there is account in it and stuff like that. But then they don't know what I've lost. So I just get very frustrated when, you know, just I say good advice. Aati hai. So I know they mean well, but that's something that yeah. I don't need right now. I just like, want people to understand what can just happen. And but it is so sad that you know when people like us layman we face certain kind of situation like this we don't have anyone in authority to address earlier i remember when facebook started and we digital marketers started marketing or uh, let's say running ads we were um, allowed to speak to people there were always somebody who could guide us but right now there is nothing everything is ai everything is automated somewhere i think this is a boon and a bane at the same time because you don't have to like i don't know you don't talk to anybody you don't have anybody addressing your problem i think this this is something which the you know social media authorities should take it very seriously and have one person, at least a customer care service, it's okay that you automate everything, but that automation should also help us. So I think... Yeah, yeah. Like in the past 45 days, we've got two emails from Instagram, which, uh, two, two emails from them, which content was like basically the same saying that we've disabled this because it wasn't fitting in our community guidelines. But what exactly went wrong, I wasn't sure. So if Correct. that particular reel or that particular post, if it's problematic, then let us know so we can like, just take it down or something, you know, and just move on with it. Like I'm ready to sacrifice the 200k views while a reel rather than my account. Correct. Correct. Then there was no warning at all and then suddenly it went off. Correct. Correct. And yeah. Yeah. Like, two days prior, I hired my first employee and then this happened. <laughs> then Asman dude pada tha. like ek bari mein sab bad luck a gaya, ek dum se. and then I was like I mean, what do I explain it to that girl now she she came with so much excitement and she was so excited to work here and now I'm like like you know just went off okay. Exactly. Correct. No, it is. It is very difficult, and I, if it has hurt me so much, and I know what you guys have gone through. Though I am not at your place, uh, but still, I can understand the pain of building any community is not easy, and when you lose that community overnight, it's even difficult. So, 
ओके लेट्स बकल अप अ बेट आई नो यू गैस डू वंडरफुल यू विल डू वंडरफुल एंड नो मैटर व्हाट इंस्टाग्राम हैंडल नो इंस्टाग्राम हैंडल योर वर्क योर डिजाइन स्पीक्स फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड आई कैन बेट ऑन दैट आई नो दैट यू गैस विल क्रैक एंड डू वंडर्स इन फ्यूचर सो लेट्स लेट्स जस्ट होप दैट यू नो देर आर पीपल टूमोरो टू एड्रेस थिंग्स एंड मेक योर लाइफ इवन इजियर एंड बेटर सो दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन डजेंट रिपीट अगेन बट अदर दिन दैट आई थिंक दर इज नथिंग मच दैट इज इन आर कंट्रोल राइट सो कमिंग टू दैट वेन दिस ऑल हैपन अफकोर्स यू नो दिस इज चलो वन सिचुएशन बट इन लाइफ वी ऑलवेज नीड काइंड ऑफ अ सपोर्ट सिस्टम विद अस who are there to support us guide us push us because there are times when you feel very low you don't want to do anything but because of that support system you just gear up and get up again and you say let's start our day so who has been your that support system in life definitely say my parents both of them mom and dad so dad in more of a practical way and mom in more like emotionally समझना एंड समझाना इन दैट वे आई वुड से क्योंकि एवर सिंस प्यूबर्टी लाइक वी ऑल हैव फेजेस मेरा भी ऐसे फेज था वेर आई नेवर अग्री टू वट एवर देवर सेंग एंड लाइक वट एवर देवर सेंग मेरे पास सब पता है बेसिकली वट एवर मेरे को सब पता है डोंट डोंट डॉक्ट टू बी लाइक आई वर्क इट एनी मोर एंड यू नो सब बट देन दे गॉट मी थ्रू दो फेसेज दे गॉट मी थ्रू Like we were living in Baramati at the time, like when my tenth was happening. It's a small town near uh, Pune, Maharashtra. I say so. It's a town. It's not a city. It's a town only. Now it might have developed, but so we were there. And my dad took this decision to like move to Pune entirely because मेरे जो designing के classes थे वो वहाँ पे available नहीं थे. So okay. it was a decision of uprooting his whole life from there and putting it in, uh, putting us into another city just so that I could attend my classes and I could get in. the best possible colleges that i could so go decision i was, i was so grateful for him to take that decision kyunki wahan se actually jo trajectory chalu hua wo abhi tak it's just moving and moving touch wood so since i got into the college and i got into every college that i applied by <laughs> so that was the papa se bolte hai na ki mere mere decision ka cheese kar diya tune like you know you made something out of it which is what you wanted to see आगे भी होता ही जाएगा जैसे जैसे जाता है वैसे तो दैट एंड recently speaking like in the last 3 4 years i would be i would say same with it also because in since lockdown like when i got sick like when i got covid tab se leke abhi tak like first year se leke last year tak he is one of the friends that i've had constantly as a pura so even on my no days he like try to cheer me up and say ki i don't feel like coming to office we come come we'll have some snacks here and all that and do our game and stuff like that so it's been very fun it's like the it just fits you know like everything up there right. so yeah so these three people also, and of course my sister also who helped me a lot through all of this that ek agar usko mention nahi kiya to ha bas abhi abhi the list should go on and on ki pata nahi kal kisi ko phone aa gaya ki oh you didn't mention my name in the podcast me nahi hai hai man mein aur dil mein sab kuch hai one is it agar Yes, that's that's so funny. Uh, now that that is one thing that they have supported and guided you. But because also you started at a young age and you were going through your highs and lows, where there also phases uh, when you had a second thought that, uh, yeah, should I continue this? Should I, you know, jump to entrepreneurship or should I go to a nine to five job or should I just, uh, you know, start with what? everybody does with and later maybe i will see because this is not giving me a stable income or whatever so mera aisa hua na to business was at peak in lockdown i would say like second lockdown ke baad ka jo phase tha uh, 2022 mein that was like the max uh, sales i've gotten and english but i've gotten it's kind of everything but that was the time when my offline classes started 
So I had to come back to Bangalore and I had to sacrifice a lot of things business wise to come here. And that took a hit on my business thoda. And tab I, I had made my mind ki for a year I'll uh, stop my business and then I'll restart it again. So by the time I restarted, like my final year pura hone ke baad, I started it in January. Jab se mera, fir mera internship bhi tabhi chalo ho gaya tha. In which like my graduation project, so I was working in uh, Louis Philippe uh, at the time as a visual merchandiser in term. And uh, my goal was to get a job there only after four months ka internship and continue my business side side. But for four months, mein, I, the kind of heat I experienced from corporate and then the heat hmm. I experienced from my customers because then my business is also there. So I was so exhausted because there was no timing in the corporate. In the morning, like 9 to 11, whenever you go. And in the evening, also 6 to 8, mein, whenever you go, it's up to you. So after I come back, it was a lot of HSR, it was traffic, it was a lot of traffic. So after coming home, I was physically so drained that like not even physical work, just to say designing करने के लिए कुछ मैं brainstorm करे वो भी नहीं हो पा रहा था मेरे से। तो by the end of four months I was so like I had made up my mind कि चलो corporate में ही करना है, अपना ये नहीं हो रहा because उसमें कैसा there's someone always over your head and you have to like follow the brand के guidelines वगैरह भी यहाँ पे ऐसे कि brand में नहीं है, मैं guidelines बना रही हूँ, मैं सब कर रही हूँ तो kind of freedom that I have in my own brand, I would never get that if I work for anyone, like no matter how high the position gets. So that's something that sort of lured me in. And since I decided to do this full time, I've never gone back to the thought ki corporate karna chahiye even when the Instagram got taken away. So it's like, isse bhi come back karenge, lekin corporate mein jayenge. <laughs> correct, correct. But, but the startup journey ha- must have been very difficult, right? Because Koi bhi startup aap kholo, it, I am sure that it is not an easy uh, cakewalk. Right. You thought and it happened and it clicked because there are also many startups which struggle till date to sustain and survive. Mm-hmm. So when those kind of things, you know, comes to your head, do you feel like that, uh, not now, not now, of course, but initially in your initial days that uh, did I do a right thing? Did, did you have self-doubt? And if you had, how did you overcome those? Self-doubt, I am actually very glad to say that I did it those times. Uh, that time also when I was doing the business, in my head I was just doing art and selling my art. And like, okay, so I was happy about it. But Hello. my goals were never that I target reach target so that pressure wasn't there and I was living at home only so I had no expenses also as such. Everything was there at home only so I, I never had that because whatever I was getting I was very happy with it because I had no bars to reach or no uh, like you know uh, targets to reach so it was it just happened so smoothly and even later on when the business was at peak and everything that time also I wasn't like you, oh my god, I kept on going. I just did my thing and people accepted it. They responded well to it. And just it just happened. But I'll tell you ki when I came to Bangalore and go fourth year, mera chalu ha, usse pehle I was continuing to go to Bangalore. City. But that time, suddenly I had rent to pay. I had other expenses to meet. Mm. So, sari ho gai. That's when I went into that monetary wala thing ki are ne roj ke itne orders aane chahiye then I'll be able to do this and all. and for the past like one one and a half year that I was doing my business obviously I was taking money from home then like mommy papa se nahi le thi I was independent mera mera kharche ho rahe the mera mera silly kharche bhi ho rahe the sab chal raha tha when I came to Bangalore it was like now how do I ask so it was I was doing so well and now suddenly it's just like, you know, gone down. I said, how, did, how do I manage that? That's why I was like, I don't want to do content. Then I was working I was working. I didn't think I was doing content, I didn't want to do it. That was like, I didn't do it. Like, you know, I, the, the expectation that I had was not reaching out to me. Because again, because my motives were changed a lot of change. But when full time, when I started, like decided to do that, abhi to obviously I have targets and agar agar, but I don't have that pressure anymore. Ki agar ye nahi hoga, to matlab, you know, 
लाइक मेरा ये कैसे करूंगी मैं यहाँ पर तो इट्स इट्स गोइंग स्मूथ ही ना थोड़ा थोड़ा अभी लेवल होने को आ रही है चीज Correct, correct. No, that's that's good, and I think it's a very good thing for at a at a very young age to realize that okay, let's be independent. Don't depend on your parents, and abhi nahi liya to kabi nahi lena, right? No. So that's that's a very beautiful thought because I come from the same space. So sometimes I don't relate to people, and I'm like, why do they say this? Why should I be dependent on my parents? Why should I be taking from them? I am a person who will never go and ask them for anything. Uh, whether until and unless it's it's to a point where i don't have any more option but that god's grace hasn't come to me yet and i hope that people youngsters like you realize that it's so important to make that for yourself now coming to my last question uh, of this podcast is a very interesting one which i think everybody would be interested to know is where do you draw your inspirations from because your drawings and your sketching and everything is so relatable it is so funny and so good to see and i think that is what you know maximum of the people appreciate and that is your usp as well but what is your inspiration how do you draw inspirations how do you uh, decide ki i will do something like this or that or whatever so i would tell you uh, like being a designer i have to be very observative as well. like in any situations because um, i remember when i was giving my entrance exams also usme bhi question tha ki crack jack ke biscuit biscuit mein kitne holes hote hain मेरे को जो अच्छा लग रहा है मेरे जैसे होंगे बहुत सारे यू नो तो आई वॉज जस्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट लाइक माई सेल्फ एंड पीपल लाइक मी एंड वॉट आर थिंग्स आई लाइक वॉट आर थिंग्स आई डोंट लाइक Like is there something that you know I can turn that into an illustration? Is there something like, uh, for example, the the proverb that says uh, "better late than never," you know? So I I took that proverb when I was like, "Ki how do we relate it to the current situation that we were in that we were in lockdown and stuff?" So I had this illustration of the teacher saying "better late than never," and then an illustration of myself where I handed in the assignment late, <laughs> like "better late than never." There are things like that that inspire me. Just all sorts of things around me. And um, another thing is like I I do watch a lot of cartoons. Like not anime, but I like watching. I like all the old cartoons, like the nineties, the two thousands. I love them as a kid. Also, I love them now. Also, so I feel like my brain works in a two D animation kind of thing. Because like, sometimes it comes to my dreams. Like, you know. <laughs> Something is happening. Yeah, and me, the couple of characters develop. Who are they? Then I have to wake up and I have to draw those. Do not need to say it. Because yes, yes, now it will not come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have notes in literally every device, or something. If something happens, I have to write it down or like note it down. Otherwise, like you know, for inspiration, I don't need to. So it's just small, small things around me that uh, like. If I can relate to them, then obviously there will be lots of other people who will you know do it. So, मेरा एक ऐसा है कि इफ आई डोंट बिलीव इन सम डिजाइन देन आई वुड शेयर इट विद द वर्ल्ड लाइक अभी आई एम अ पर्सन हु लाइक्स वेरी सब मैक्सिमम चीजें ऐसे फुल वैसे क्यूटी क्यूटी चीजें करना वगैरह बट देर इज एन ऑडियंस हु लाइक्स मिनिमलिस्टिक थिंग्स ऑल्सो आई वुड इन पेंट माई सेल्फ दैट वे की उनको अच्छा केटर करने के लिए मैं मिनिमलिस्टिक बनाऊंगी बिकॉज मेरे से वो होगा ही नहीं अंदर से वो डिजाइन नहीं आएगा फिर मैं कुछ करने के लिए कर दूंगी फिर वो अच्छा भी जाएगा या नहीं जाएगा पता नहीं बट यू नो आई इफ आई डोंट फील इट फ्रॉम इनसाइड आई वुडंट प्रमोट इट आउट टू द वर्ल्ड करेक्ट सेल्फ सेल्फ अप्रूव देन इट्स फाइन एंड दैट्स हाउ द ब्रांड इज बिल्ट लाइक सारे ये चीजें लाइक यू नो अराउंड इट सो या दैट्स That's that's amazing, and it was very nice speaking to you. Now we have a very fun section, a very light section. We had lot of uh, serious conversation. We got to know you better, your startup better, your ideas better. So now let's dive into how Shalaka as a person is. So we have some fun questions ready. So first question: You draw so many characters, and uh, now and then you keep exploring so many things. One character that you relate to. A lot. Okay. So the character is a thing that I do. It 
would be control z it's <laughs> i relate to that a most because it's like i i keep going back and forth back and forth and that's the buttons jinka print bhi chala gaya hai mere laptop mein se because i keep you <laughs> i think the main <laughs> of me being a digital artist is because mere ko bahut undo stay hote hai i can't just keep erasing stuff all the time so i would say ki yeah that like i i that is that is one thing चलो लेट मी आस्क यू अनदर क्वेश्चन वेर यू माइट मे बी गिव मी समथिंग मोर इंटरेस्टिंग इफ यू हैड टू रिलेट योर सेल्फ टू अ कार्टून कैरेक्टर और एन एनिमल व्हिच इज दैट यू विल रिलेट एंड व्हाई कार्टून कैरेक्टर आई वुड से करेज द कावर्डली डॉग बिकॉज़ यू नो I won't be able to think of me as like a stuff lady, but then I just you know I know how I am and everything. Like I can't <laughs> put my employee if he's doing something wrong. I'll just explain it and I'm thinking, okay. But then I want them to like you know have that. Thoda sa ye also you know you're my boss and but they know about everything. So that I would say animal um animal animal. I could say a sloth. Because I'm very lazy oh. at times, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so but so when I'm working, I'm working hard. But when I'm like, I don't have the energy. Or, I'm in bed. I'm in bed. <laughs> I'm in bed. So if you phone me, do not disturb me. Laga ke I'll just because this is so now. I say, put isolate kar dungi khud ko and I'll be like in on. But slots are cute. I am also cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> You are, you are. That's what I said. See, indirectly, I meant the same thing. <laughs> okay. The uh, the last question for the day is: What is your favorite food that you can munch any day, any time, any year, any second? Bada pav. Bada pav. Usually, yeah. this has to come from a Maharashtrian. Bada pav. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes.
but i believe that whatever happens happens for good and you guys will do wonderful thank you so much thank you so much I'll just be better after talking to me. You will remember. Oh, nice! <laughs> this, this, I am going to highlight in my podcast. <laughs> it feels better talking to me. Thank you so much. It was nice having you here.